How is it going, everybody? You're watching the Nabal Tech, and today I'm going to talk about the Apple MagSafe battery pack. More specifically, how to increase its charging speed. So how to make it charge the iPhone faster. Because as you probably know, it's super slow. It charges actually at a 5 watt rate. And if you think about it, 5 watts is how fast the iPhone 1 was charged back in 2007. Fortunately, there's something we can do. If we actually go to settings and then we scroll down and tap on general and then we go to about and then scroll all the way down until you see MagSafe battery pack and please keep in mind that you can only see this setting if you have the battery pack connected to your iPhone. So then you tap on MagSafe battery pack. You can see right here firmer version. So you can see the version of the firmware that's running on your battery pack itself, which in my case is 2.0.2c.0, which is a very, very old and outdated version. And what we can do here is actually update the MagSafe battery pack firmware. We can actually do that. And when we do update to the latest version, we take advantage of 7.5 watt charging. So we can increase the charging speed of the battery pack itself by 50%. We can get from 5 watts to 7.5 watts, which is a pretty significant bump if you ask me. So, how can we actually do it? How can we actually update the firmware version? And there are two ways to do it. An automatic way and a manual way. The automatic way is pretty much use your battery pack. And in about a week, according to Apple, you'll get the latest firmware version. It will update the firmware automatically just by being connected to your iPhone and it's gonna do it. So let's say you just bought your battery pack, use it for a week and wait for it to update. And the version we're looking for, the version that we can take advantage of the faster charging is 2.7.b.0. So as you can see, I'm definitely not on that version. I'm on 2.0, it's a 2.7.0.0. So if you're not on this version, if you're on anything earlier than 2.7.b.0, you need to update to take advantage of the faster charging. If you're on it or later, you're already there, you're already using the faster charging. So, as I said, the automatic way is this, wait for a week and see how it goes, but for many, many, many people, it just won't update, which is my case, for example, it just won't update at all. It'll keep on an early version, so we need to manually update the firmware. And that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. So, all you have to do is actually disconnect your power, your power bank, let's say, your, your battery pack, and then you're gonna to need to connect it to a Mac or an iPad using a Lightning, as you know, this is a Lightning port, to USB-C. So get a Lightning to USB-C cable and connect your battery pack to your Mac or your iPad. So let's do this. So as you can see here, I've got a Lightning cable, the other end is USB Type-C, and it's already connected to my Mac, which is right here behind the camera, and then I'm gonna plug in to my battery pack. As you can see, it's, it's gonna start charging. It needs to indicate that it's charging, as you can see right there, by the amber light, and all you have to do is wait. That's it, you don't need to do anything. It's gonna be done automatically. The Mac will recognize the battery pack and then it'll check for firmware updates and it will actually update automatically just by plugging it in. So all you have to do now is wait. Wait around five minutes, that's what Apple says. If you wanna wait for five or 10 minutes, that's up to you. You don't need to wait any longer than that, between five to 10 minutes tops. Let it do its thing, let it update, and on top of that, it's already charging your power bank, so that's cool. Oh, and actually, please make sure that your Mac or your iPad that you're using to do the process is connected to Wi-Fi, because it's gonna need to download and update using a Wi-Fi network, so it needs to be connected to the internet. Five minutes later, we can already unplug the battery pack from the cable, and then let's check it out. Let's connect to the iPhone, it's charging, let's go to settings, and then let's go ahead and tap on general and about, scroll down to MagSafe battery pack, and as you can see, here we go, 2.7.b.0. 
the firmware version has been updated so I'm on the latest version which is this one uh, upon the recording of this video meaning that I'm on the version that allows faster charging that's the version you need to be anything from this version or newer so that's it thanks for watching and I'll see you in a few days as usual bye bye